the burning barn. Based on the leisure time I do have as an academic, I'm not trying to create concepts just to create a brand. I'm trying to theorize what's going on in a world on fire and people telling me to stay in the barn. And the language they give me might take me to the edge of my stall, or to the left, or to the right. But it does not give me what I need to kick down the locked door, to get out. Not kick down the door and say, I want to manage the barn. I don't want to manage the barn. I want to get out. If I was a student in the 1920s, I would have dropped out. I don't think I would have had the resilience to be the first graduate of anything, meaning I stand on shoulders more resilient than mine, like Maybelle Watson Ramey, who couldn't even be seen as black when she graduated. I wonder what would happen if she hadn't been light enough to pass, if there were any other black women who were enrolled with her and did not graduate. I will never know their names. How lonely it is to be the price of progress. He travels alone, goes to and from classes alone, and has trained himself to be as independent as possible. They said of Arthur J. Pitchery, the first blind student who graduated in the 1920s, being a token means pledging loyalty to an institution that is determined not to see you. I stay in college while I watch my friends leave, a place of learning that dispossessed them of their passions and drove their dreams sightless like my friend back home, an anthropologist of his own distinction, bagging bouquets in the morning, stocking food pantries at night, more friends, another poet, another theorist, another scholar whose scholarship dried up after a year, or who got tired of being stared at, or who couldn't support a GPA and a job on the same back, who got fired, who was tired of being stared at, who was never picked back up. History remembers its graduates, and there are no plaques for attempts meaning college makes survivors out of some of us. I know what I am. I'm grateful to be here. I taste the boots earthly shove and I learned how to dance. I dance in the same boots. I know what I am. I should be grateful to be here. This degree will set me apart, but from who? Now I'm a show pony in a burning barn. It's getting hotter and hotter everywhere, and we are holding the torch and the extinguisher. I hope to be more than ornamental. I am grateful, and I am furious. My hope is often unrecognizable to me. If I am not careful, they will take my hope and make a monument out of me before I am even finished. We are not finished. We have yet to see what's on the other side of the door. <laughs>